Yo YouTube, so today I'm going to put a new chain on my on one Parkwood mountain bike. This is the bike that I set up uh, tubeless in the last video. Um, it all worked really well but I did tighten up the uh, the nut too tight um, on the valve and I pulled the valve through the rubber bit. Um, so it's got tubing out at the minute so I will eventually get around to putting that back in. The back one's still the same, I've done a few miles on this bike and that's held up absolutely awesomely. Um, I will be getting back around to in the front one at some point. But today I'm going to stick a new chain on this bike. When I built it, I used an old chain. Um, I built it well, about a year ago now. Um, I still haven't got around to uh, sticking a new chain on. So today I've got one. I've got a Shimano cheap. It was 11 quid from Halford, just a, just a Dior. Um, but I've used one of these before and uh, they're all right for what they are. 11 quid, can't go wrong. So uh, yeah, simple job, but I thought I'd just do a little um, little video on how to do it. So this chain has a quick link, which is just there. Get the old camera at focus. So it's got a quick link just there, and we use special quick link pliers to remove that. This Shimano chain has uh, a pin, which isn't a quick link. Uh, makes the odds, you just use a tool instead of a pair of pliers. Uh, so yeah, a couple of different chains. I suppose I should do a quick bike check really on this. So it's normal Parkwood 650B. I've got a 120mm travel fork on the front and they're a Fox uh, what are they? Evolution series, so they're the bottom end, but they're actually really quite nice. I bought them second hand and they uh, replaced a set of RockShock Rebas that come on my canyon. Um, my rock, uh, the uh, canyon now rocks a set of Fox Performance Elite, I believe, um, which they're quite good. So uh, anyway, this bike ended up with these Fox Fox Forks. Uh, I've got a race face handlebar. They were a funny green, so I've painted them black and then stuck a sticker on. Um, I've got a Shimano standard cheap uh, disc brakes, which they're all right. Uh, it's a one by ten setup, and. Um, that's uh, set up like that. So that was the original 10 speed cassette, but I've took out that sprocket and put in a big sprocket, which works not a problem. There is a little bit of a gear difference, um, but like I said, I don't really use this bike very often. Uh, it's a XT Duralia 10 speed, but it's non clutched. So what I've had to do is come up with a simple solution just to put a bit of tension in it. Um, that was made out of a rear mudguard or a light fixing. Bit of hose pipe on it, cable tied on, and it actually works really well. Uh, happy with that little mod. Um, I've got a 100mm KSE10 dropper post. The charge... What's that called? Charge seat. Charge spoon, I think they were called. So I'll run one of them on both of my bikes, and they're really comfortable. Um, what have I got? I've got... Specialised enduro grips. I'll run both. I'll run them on both sets of my bikes. I've got a Radley stem, and yet again, I'll run one of these on each of my bikes. This one's a forty mil, and on my Canyon, I've got a sixty mil. Um, low stack. That was the reason I put that on here because uh, there weren't a lot of gap, there weren't a lot of um, steerer tube. So that works really well. So I've basically built this bike out of parts from my canyon build. A couple of things I had to buy to add to it, but it's all right. Mavic wheels, cheap Mavic wheels, race face cranks. I've got an oval chain ring, he's a 32 tooth. Uh, what are they? DR V12s, DMR V12s in white. Yeah, so that gives you an idea of what the bike's about. Anyway, let's get to changing the chain. So for this job, you'll need a 10 speed chain, a chain tool, I've got an Allen key there, and you normally you would you normally use a chain tool in the multi tool, but I'll use an Allen key for some. And a pair of pliers to or quick link removal pliers to remove the old chain. Let's crack on. Right, so the first job is putting the tool in. Which is just 
just there. I'm going like that. Right, so now we've got the chain out of the packet, we need to cut it to length. So we need to measure how many links we need to take off this chain. So since we've got the old one, that's really easy. All we do is we lay the chain down, measure it up, and see how many we need to take off. So here we go. So get two ends level, run it all the way along. And that leaves us with the amount we need to take off. Now what you've got to remember is, because the old chain has a quick link, <coughs> we only need to take off six links. So where that one finishes there, we need to take, we need to keep that one, because that would count as the quick link if you like. So we're just putting a pin through. So we need to take six off, one, two, three, four, five, six, six links. So this is the, what we count as a quick link and obviously because this is on the chain that we just measured we need to add that. So that's what they look like and they use these to take them on and off and they just sit together like that. And then clip together. We're going to use one of these pins. Very much the same method apart from you use a chain tool instead of a quick link pair of flyers. I suppose it's less thing carrying your bag when you're out on the trails, really. So anyway, we need to cut six links off this chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm cutting just there, or removing, cutting, whatever you want to call it. So you sit that in your chain tool. He sits in there like that. Get your Allen key. Turn that until you hear a click. Feel the click. I don't know if you can see that, but that's now winding that pin out of there. And go all the way through. These just fell out. And do chain tool. Chain has come apart. And that's the full length of chain that we need. So, next part is to put it on the back of the bike. Right, so the next step is to join the chain back up. A uh, couple of little tips. Put the chain on the inside of the ring so it's not actually on the chain ring. So it's sat inside. And then put your chain on the lower sprocket uh, around the So make sure your jolia is all the way down in the hardest gear. And that will give you plenty of room to match the chain up and make this a lot easier than trying to stretch the chain on the jolia. So I have to go through this little uh, chain device I made. And then you can see he just pops in together just like that, nice and easy. So I'll get the joining pin and he slides through and joins it in there like that. Nice and easy. Get your chain tool, make sure the thing's all the way back in. Sit him in the chain tool. And all you have to do is get your Allen key. Let's bring the camera a bit closer so you can see what's going on here. Right, so now we're in the right position, everything's lined up. I'm going to use a ratchet for this just because I'm in the workshop and the camera's in the way and it's going to like 
life a lot easier. But normally you just use a normal Allen key for this. Because um, the camera won't be in the way normally. Anyway, so here we go. So we're going to tighten that up. And that's gone through one side. And then the next side. And you should just feel it tighten up and click in. So if I now back that off. So as you can see, that pin is in perfectly. You can see the outside bit still. So all you got to do is just snap that off. A pair of pliers or... So yeah, again, as I'm in the workshop, I'm just going to hold the chain. Pair of pliers, get that on, back, and just go like that, and he breaks away. And that's it, the chain is fitted. So all we got to do now is put the chain back on the bike. have it. One finished chain. So what you want to do next, go outside, stick some of that on it because that's uh, covered in like a grease that stop it, like keeps it sort of I suppose going from rusty in the um, in the packet. So I'll take that grease off with some chain cleaner. I mean if you have used it out on the tray that won't really matter, just crack on and ride but um, seeing to home you might as well do it properly. So I'll use this muck off stuff, rinse it off, and then all you want to do is lube it back up with some either dry or wet lube. And I'll use them ones. For a bit of a bonus on the end of this video, I'm going to show you what to do with the old piece of chain. Uh, this is a little hack that um, yeah could be handy to somebody if you're interested. Anyway, stay tuned if you're interested. So this hack is a keychain. Simple to make. It's pretty cool in your keys. Let's crack on. Right, so for this little hack, it's very simple. You get your old piece of chain and we cut it to length. So um, I'll think about what, one, two, three, four. Four lengths. About right. Four lengths. Could even go five, you know. Just take the M1 off, really. Let's go five. And get your chain tool. Yeah, again, we just break that pin. There we go, let's click. And now it comes. Just need to push them all the way out. There we go. Back your chain tool off. And there you have it. Perfect chain key ring. It's obviously still a bit greasy because it's just come out of the packet. So chuck it in a pot. I've got some GT85 to hand. You can use WD40 chain cleaner, anything really that will take grease off. Spray it in there. Give it a wiggle. Take all that grease off. You don't want that in your pocket, do you? That's it. Get your rag. Take your keychain out. Clean all the grease and the. GT85 off 
that will dry so I'll probably leave it overnight just to let that dry off but that will come off get it as dry as you can then you need a split ring now I'm a locksmith as you can see by the keys on my workbench I have these kicking around everywhere but you can take them off an old key ring that you don't like or you can get them from a hardware store or a key cutting place or a locksmith place anywhere really I think you'll have them at home everyone does once that's uh, cleaned up put your split ring through it get your car keys and add it to your car keys how cool is that simple little hack and you made yourself keychain thank you very much the end